Welcome back. Today let's talk about carrots. Carrot is a very good crop to grow for commercial purposes or for subsistence purposes. Uh, carrot is propagated by seeds and the seeds tend to take very long time to uh, germinate and emerge. So if you see that your seed, there is no evidence of germination in your, in your bed, you need to stay cool because these seeds take averagely 10 days to emerge. When you're choosing the site to grow, uh, you avoid a site that has a lot of manure because you want to avoid the issue of forking where uh, uh, the quality of the carrot is reduced. Also, you need to avoid a site with a lot of clay Perhaps you should choose a site with a lot of uh, sandy soil because this is a tuber and it needs to penetrate through the soil much easier. The right spacing will be space of between 20 and 30 centimeters between the rows and then now you, you make a small row, it shouldn't be too deep because the seeds are small. So now you can sprinkle the seeds into the row. Uh, for, to avoid sprinkling and using a lot of seeds, you can uh, mix the seed with sand or ash at a ratio of one to three, and then you apply and you cover uh, with small amount of soil. Once you've covered, the plant require consistent moisture for them to germinate. Therefore, you can cover your seed bed with mulch or uh, polybin. You need to irrigate your carrots at least twice a week uh, because you want it to get enough uh, moisture for it to emerge. When it comes to fertilization, it's not a must that you fertilize your carrots you can choose to add a small amount of uh, well decomposed manure or compost to at least you know meet the crop nutritional requirements you need to keep your plots clean from weeds uh, and the best way is to uproot them so that you remain with a clean plant once the plants have grown it's important that you thin out for it to occupy so that it can grow to a better size. Plants will take a maximum of three months in the field for them to mature. But from there you can now harvest. It's important you water first before harvesting so that it becomes easier to lift the uh, tubers from the soil. There you have it folks. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. But until the next video, ciao and keep growing.